On August 11th, 2011, some of our bravest men were put into an old, slow-flying helicopter and sent to their death. To this day, there has been no recognition, no investigation, but their names will be remembered now on the Savage Nation. The following sailors were assigned to an East Coast Base Naval Special Warfare Unit. They were killed. Lieutenant Commander Seal Jonas B. Kelsall, 32, of Shreveport, Louisiana. Special Warfare Operator Master Chief Petty Officer Seal Louis J. Langley, 44, of Santa Barbara, California. Special Warfare Operator Senior Chief Petty Officer Seal Thomas A. Ratzlaff, 34, of Green Forest, Arkansas. Explosives Ordnance Disposal Technician Senior Chief Petty Officer Craig M. Vickers, 36, of Kokomo, Hawaii. Special Warfare Operator Chief Petty Officer Seal Brian R. Bill, 31, of Stamford, Connecticut. Special Warfare Operator Chief Petty Officer Seal John W. Fast, 31, of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Special Warfare Operator Chief Petty Officer Seal Kevin A. Houston, 35, of West Hyannisport, Massachusetts. Special Warfare Operator Chief Petty Officer Seal Matthew D. Mason, 37, of Kansas City, Missouri. Special Warfare Operator Chief Petty Officer Seal Stephen M. Mills, 35, Fort Worth, Texas. Explosives, Ordnance Disposal Technician, Chief Petty Officer Nicholas H. Null, 30, of Washington, West Virginia. Special Warfare Operator Chief Petty Officer Seal Robert J. Reeves, 32, of Shreveport, Louisiana. Special Warfare Operator Chief Petty Officer Seal Heath M. Robinson, 34, of Detroit, Michigan. Special Warfare Operator Petty Chief Petty uh, Special Warfare Operator Petty Officer First Class Navy Seal Derek C. Benson, 28, of Angwin, California. Special Warfare Operator Petty Officer First Class Seal Parachutist Christopher G. Campbell, 36, of Jacksonville, North Carolina. Information Systems Technician, Petty Officer First Class, Freefall Parachutist, Jared W. Day, 28, of Taylorsville, Utah. Master at Arms, Petty Officer First Class, Expeditionary Warfare Specialist, John, du 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 I'm sorry if I cannot pronounce these names, Duong Dara, 26, of South Su of Sioux City, Nebraska. Cryptologist Technician, Petty Officer First Class, Expeditionary Warfare Specialist Michael J. Strange, 25, of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. His parents have been on the show several times. Special Warfare Operator, Petty Officer First Class, SEAL Enlisted Surface Warfare Specialist John T. Tumelson, 35, of Rockford, Iowa. Special Warfare Operator, Petty Officer First Class, SEAL Aaron C. Vaughn, 30, of Stewart, Florida. His folks have been on the Savage Nation. Special Warfare Operator Petty Officer First Class Seal Jason R. Workman, 32, of Blanding, Utah. Special Warfare Operator Petty Officer First Class Seal Jesse D. Pittman, 27, of Ukiah, California. And Special Warfare Operator Petty Officer Second Class Seal Nicholas P. Spihar, 24, of St. Paul, Minnesota. Aboard that ill-fated helicopter, also plummeting to their deaths in that fiery wreckage, were soldiers. Chief Warrant Officer David R. Carter, 47, of Centennial, Centennial, Colorado. Chief Warrant Officer Brian J. Nichols, 31, of Hayes, Kansas. Staff Sergeant pra Patrick D. Hamburger, 30, of Lincoln, Nebraska. Sergeant Alexander J. Bennett, 24, of Tacoma, Washington. Specialist Spencer C. Duncan, 21, of Kansas. There were airmen killed in that crash, three of them, and that will complete the list. The real heroes that Obama spits upon. Technical Sergeant John W. Brown, 33, of Tallahassee, Florida. Staff Sergeant Andrew W. Harvell, 26, of Long Beach, California. And finally, Technical Sergeant Daniel L. Zerby, 28, of York, Pennsylvania. That's 
the list, my friends. None of them are common names. They're not uh, well-known. They're not uh, fraudulent actors who throw cell phones in people's faces and act like tough guys. They're not jumping into a limousine somewhere in Manhattan acting like military tough guys on screen. These are the real Americans. And as you'll notice, none of them hail from New York City. None of them hail from San Francisco. None of them hail from Austin, Texas. None of them hail from the liberal bastions where hatred for this nation's honors, honor and traditions are a commonplace. I did all I can do tonight on this subject, ladies and gentlemen. There's no more I can say. I've got to take a quick break because as you probably just heard, it was very difficult for me to read the names because although I don't know any of them, I didn't know any of them, I'm a strange person. I have a tremendous capacity of emoting. I have a great capacity for empathy. And each name conjured up an image of a young man who was once an infant who then became a boy, who then became an adolescent, who then became a boy and an adolescent who became a man who decided to do something for America because he realized the Islamic threat was prevalent and that if they didn't do it, darn it, who would? If they didn't want to risk their lives, who would go face these barbaric throwbacks? Who would face them? These Islamic powers who have little to fear from a neutered United States where a president has the audacity to give a presidential medal of freedom to a woman who celebrates turning 